Hello everyone, I am Dr. Bingani Baruti. I am the medical director of the Urgent Care Everywhere Network, or the UCE Network. Um, this is a network that uh, is made up of uh, urgent care clinics and physicians and uh, people without health insurance uh, across the United States. And the network provides access um, to urgent care doctors to all of its members. So if you are a person without health insurance and you need to see an urgent care doctor, you go to uh, www.ucenetwork.com and choose the plan. You'll be sent a card and a pharmacy discount card, um, or you'll be sent a, a membership card and your pharmacy discount card, and you take it to any urgent care in the United States. You pay a $25 copay, and the urgent care um, everywhere network pays the urgent care clinic 100% um, of the time in 12 working days. So that's what the Urgent Care Everywhere Network is. Now I am the medical director of that network. I also work in um, urgent care clinics around Atlanta. I um, currently am working in uh, Get Well Urgent Care uh, off of 20 West in uh, Douglasville, Georgia. Um, but so in addition to directing the clinical aspects of the network, I will also be posting um, five to six minute videos once a week or every two weeks uh, regarding an urgent care topic. So basically I'll be talking about conditions that are commonly seen in the urgent care clinic. Um, um, but before I, I, I talk about my first topic today, it's important that you know the difference between urgent care and uh, emergency uh, room care and uh, primary care. So. Um, as the name indicates, emergency room care or ER care has to do with emergencies, so life-threatening emergencies, um, heart attack, strokes, uh, major trauma, a severe abdominal pain, uh, loss of consciousness. Um, now those things really require an emergency room physician and the equipment and the support and the infrastructure of an emergency department. Those are not appropriate uh, conditions to be seen at an urgent care clinic. Um, and then you have your primary care where you see your family doctor or your internal medicine doctor and uh, they basically um, uh, they manage your high blood pressure, your diabetes and things like that. You need to schedule appointments. And in between um, primary care and uh, emergency care, uh, the urgent care clinic, they're growing throughout the United States and basically you see the doctor as a walk-in basis for non-life-threatening illnesses, um, sprains, um, uh, some small fractures, uh, bronchitis, sinus infections, abscesses, things like that. One thing that you would see the doctor for is um, a condition called scabies. Now scabies is a skin condition where the person has this intense um, desire to itch, to scratch, 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 scratch. Um, uh, scabies is caused by the uh, mite, the human itch mite. Also. Uh, called um, Sarcoptus scabii. It's been around since the dawn of, 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 of mankind. You know, we have uh, records going back to 700 BC uh, and hieroglyphs where um, it is thought that scabies was, uh, was uh, being indicated or um, uh, described in hieroglyphic messages. Um, throughout history, scabies has been, uh, been with us. In the Bible, um, what is considered um, leprosy is either Hansen's disease or, or the plague, or it could be scabies. Um, so scabies can, uh, it has a male and female. The, the female causes most of the problems as far as the symptoms. So the, the, the male and female make, the female mite borrows into the top layer of the skin. The top layer of the skin is called the stratus corneum, um, where the keratin, the hard keratinized layer of the skin is, that's where the female scabies mite burrows in and, and digs and, and starts to travel horizontally and lay eggs. And it, lay, and it has feces, it basically defecates um, inside the, these burrows. And um, uh, the burrowing and the, and the, uh, the laying of the eggs um, can occur over four to six weeks before the person even starts to scratch and have symptoms and you can pass scabies on to another person. Hey, scabies is highly contagious. Uh, it can spread throughout families, spreads in nursing homes, uh, long-term rehab facilities, 
Um, uh, the mite needs to um, uh, live on the human skin. It cannot live off of the human skin for more than a few days. So the way scabies is really transmitted from one person to another is by prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact, like during sexual intercourse. Uh, and that way, you can say, well, scabies is transmitted sexually, although it's not known as, you know, one of the typical STDs like, um, like herpes or HIV, but the skin-to-skin -skin contact, you know, allows it to be transmitted. Um, and so you won't get scabies by just doing a fist bump or shaking someone's hand. It has to be prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact. Um, it'll itch, um, uh, like I said, um, and the scabies that might have a predilection for uh, the, the webbing of the fingers, that's where you know, you'll see a lot of the, of the rash. Um, it'll be a red or erythematous rash that has little bumps. Sometimes you can see the, the boring tracks on the skin. Um, the mite also loves uh, skin that lays on other skin, like under the breast and the inguinal creases under the arms, um, and so uh, under belt, under jewelry. So that's where you'll see the itching and the mites um, of scabies. Um, because it can uh, be on the body for up to six weeks before you start to itch, um, it's important that when you go on to get treated at the urgent care clinic that the urgent care doctor treats you and your entire family, anyone that you've been having sex with, um, they have to be treated at the same time. All of your, um, the, the upholstered items that you've been sitting on or sleeping on, your laundry linen, all those things needs to be treated as well. Um, it's easy to kill scabies once the mite is off the human skin. So you wanna wash everything that you can in hot water and then dry everything you can in the highest heat possible. If you cannot wash and dry an item, then uh, uh, have it dry cleaned um, or you can put it and put whatever uh, you're, you're trying to kill the mite from in like a sealed uh, oxygen proof or air proof uh, plastic bag for about a week and then you'll get rid of the, of the, of the mites that way. The com most common treatment for scabies is permethrin 5%. It's a cream uh, comes by prescription only. Um, you would treat from the, from the, uh, the chin down. You massage the, uh, the cream into your entire body sparing or you don't put the cream inside the vagina or in the, the hole uh, of the, the penis, the meatus. You don't put the, the cream in your mouth or your eyes. Now for, for infants and elderly individuals, you may wanna massage the, the, the cream into the back of the, of, the, of the neck and the scalp. Leave the cream on for about eight to 10 hours, and then you wake up in the morning and you shower um, and you, you scrub from, from, uh, from chin down. You wanna repeat this in seven days. Um, and uh, you may still have some itching uh, for a couple more weeks afterward, but uh, that is an effective treatment to get rid of the scabies uh, mite from the skin. There are some other treatments, um, not, not as commonly used, um, like um, um, crotomitin is used, it's, 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 a, it's a, cream, a cream too. Um, you, you put it on just like permethrin, you can repeat in a day or up, up to five days, you can repeat it. If uh, you use um, uh, chrome mitten in, a, uh, in an infant, you want to dilute it one to three um, parts, um, and then you just use, use it like an adult and don't repeat it. And for an older child, you want to use a one to one dilution, you know, the, the uh, 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 chrome mitten lotion and water, mix it one to one, and then you apply it like you would an adult, and then you don't repeat it. Um, other treatments would be sulfur agents. Um, Benzo, uh, benzoate is a treatment. Um, lindane, one percent is a treatment. Uh, but these are, are, are less commonly used, especially lindane. Um, that can be toxic uh, to to the skin. So you only use lindane if the other treatments fail, or if you're allergic to the other treatments. It's important that everyone in the family is treated at the same time. And so a lot of times, people who don't have insurance who get scabies, um, they don't know how to how to uh, how to get treatment. So this is the purpose for the, uh, uh, the uh, um, Urgent Care Everywhere Network, you know, to give people access to urgent care doctors right then. So you, you go, you get your membership, or you go sign up at the clinic, and um, you get treated for scabies. A lot of times, um, doctors won't even uh, require to see your family member um, because they know that a treatment for scabies is to treat the entire family members. 
So we're at 10 minutes now. Like I told you, I'm going to stop the, the, these videos. I said it five minutes, but uh, um, I think 10 minutes is a, is, a, is a good compromise here for discussing a topic that um, will affect a lot of people. So if you want to know more um, about the Urgent Care Everywhere Network, um, like I said, you can look, um, you can go to www.ucenetwork.com and you can sign up there. Once again, my name is Dr. Baruti. Bye-bye.